Government is continuing to explore other options for medical treatment abroad for patients in need of emergency medical attention, as the matter of unpaid medical bills is placing a damper on the territory's ability to access emergency treatment in U.S. hospitals. The matter came up during the budget debate in February when 3rd District Representative Julian Fraser said patients being flown out of the BVI are now heading to Jamaica instead of Puerto Rico or Miami, which has been the norm. The representative said although the move is cheaper, the reason why patients are no longer being flown to the U.S. must be investigated. Madam Speaker, I was just informed a few days ago, we had this incident with Mr. Blyden. And that the, I was told that he was sent off island for treatment. Then, good to hear. And that he went about Jamaica for treatment. Madam Speaker, let the record reflect that the fact that, that going that I have nothing against going to Jamaica for treatment. What I do know, Madam Chief, Madam Speaker, is that for me, it's something new. It's something strange. Because the first call for people going off island, huh? That is strange. To me, it is. First call, Madam Speaker, is, that, is to go to Puerto Rico. And the second call is to go to Jacksonville or someplace up in the States. Jackson Memorial or something like that. And then they go to Barbados sometime. It's not the first time that I heard someone went to Bar Jamaica, though. But, Madam, S Madam Speaker, in, in, in trying to find out the procedure, what took place, or the sequence of events, I was told that as far as Puerto Rico was concerned, it's the type case that the, the, the gentleman suffered, they, didn't, they wouldn't take him in Puerto Rico. Of the two hospitals in the in, in United States, one wanted some $400,000 up front, the other one wanted $150,000 up front. And if this is the case, Madam Speaker, this need to be this need to be investigated. In response, Health Minister Ronnie Skelton said, "Government is left with huge medical bills after patients receive treatment in St. Thomas, Puerto Rico, and Jacksonville, Miami." He said, "This is because government agreed to accept all liabilities with the understanding that the family the families will pay a portion of it, but according to Minister Skelton, many have not paid." What has happened? What, what has happened to healthcare in this country over the last four or six years <laughs> is something else. But as speaker, we we have we have lifted anybody anyone who want who wanted to be lifted out of the BVI to various hospitals in Jacksonville, in um, Miami, Puerto Rico, Barbados, Trinidad, Jamaica, Saint Thomas. But Madam Speaker, after the airlift is over and the patient is well, there's a bill to be paid. And we have not paid some of these bills. So all of us here, all of us are at risk. Those of us who have insurance and hopefully, hopefully, it will not be an, an insurance with limits on it. Okay, the government, through the Ministry of Co Ministry of Health, will have to send a letter to the hospital that you want to go to, saying that we will accept all the liabilities. Here on the ground, we will try to get the families to to agree to pay some portion of that liability. When it's all over and it's well and everything is done, those are some of the monies that are not being collected. 
Pointing out that the U.S. is not the only option for emergency treatment, Minister Skelton says the hundreds of thousands of dollars that U.S. hospitals are asking for upfront are not always readily available. He said patients have been and are being sent to other countries in the region at a cheaper cost. This case that the member for the third mentioned, the one hospital, we, we, Puerto Rico couldn't do it, they, were, they couldn't handle it. Uh, they, they didn't want to take it. I know we have HEMA, HEMA out there and they normally take our cases. St. Thomas couldn't handle it. We normally send people to St. Thomas because it's closer and there are some good services down there. Right now, Barbados couldn't take it. We, um, the one in Jacksonville wanted um, a credit card for $315,000 or cash $315,000 and on Saturday, Sunday morning, I couldn't write a check, Madam Speaker. I didn't have a checkbook that big. <laughs> so, Madam Speaker, we had to find help for, for the patient as quickly as possible. And Jamaica, Madam Speaker, we sent him. And Jamaica is no jokey place, no jokey hospital. Madam Speaker, some of the, the best technology you could find is in in Jamaica, I understand, and I've been to Santa Domingo in some of the highest technology i ever seen for to in a hospital I saw it in, in Santa Domingo. Both Honorable Julian Fraser and Honorable Ronnie Skelton said the BVI needs to fix the healthcare system and minimize the need for emergency services overseas.